So, Papa and I got this truck at the flea market today. It started out as $50. And uh, the lady looked it up on eBay and said it was worth $80 according to eBay. She had $50. I offered her $30 for it. So she took it. So I got this truck for $30. It's an Ertl truck from the Outdoor Sportsman series. If you couldn't tell, it's an F-150, 118th scale. There's opening doors, detailed engine and chassis, custom paint scheme, and custom accessories. I'm having problems with my camera. There you can read about the back if you care. I already read it and don't think it's important. Here it tells you how to get the truck off the base. You got your Ford Motor Company stuff here. This is from 2002. Ford built Ford Tough emblem right there. Go ahead and open this up. As you can see, it doesn't have a tailgate. The tailgate is up there, along with a utility box that looks like it's about ready to come open anyway. I think it actually opens. Yep. It's got a piece of tape on it. Yeah, it actually opens. Just goes in the back there. I wonder why it had a Phillips screwdriver or Phillips uh, screws right here, but on the box it showed uh, flathead screws. Leaving that thing in the box. No. I told you I was taking it out. No. Yeah, but I didn't think you. Yeah, hold it for me. Thanks. It evidently it's been out of the box before because that box opened too easy for it to have not been out before. Yeah. Alright, it's still attached to this screw that doesn't feel like it's... I'm taking this out right here. It doesn't want to slide out. It doesn't slide out. Pull it out. All right, this screw is not, it's turning, but it's not loosening up anything. Maybe it is. Was turning now it's not turning it's about off now I think I got it there we go. Let go of it. 
That's heavier than I thought it was. Well, that would explain why it was so hard to get out. Yeah. Yeah, it looks, looks just like inside Uncle Richard's truck. His truck looks like a garbage truck. <laughs> no, it doesn't. What Aunt Gaisel says. Doesn't look like a garbage truck. With the hood open. There. You see the dirt that fell out of it? The dirt fell out of it. That's got an Illinois license plate on it. Something hanging underneath. What is that? I don't know. A piece of plastic, I guess. Yeah, I'm convinced it's been taken out before. Cause of, cause that this has been open. Th yeah. This was opened, and um, as easy as the box opened up, it's been out before. Here's your engine. I like the brush guard that's on it. Got a serious brush guard. Yeah, it does. There's the back and back end of the truck. I mean, it's a Ertl, so I don't know why I'm surprised that it's so nice, but. You watch your thing. Yeah, I figured the box would come out. Here's the bottom of it. What's that say? It says Ford. It just says F-150 trademark used under license from Ford Motor Company. I thought maybe it'd say what year it was. Got a matching wheel on the bottom. It's nice. Yeah, it is. Good. Let's see what it looks like with the tailgate. Yeah, it's been opened before because this the tailgate thing's open too. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm not going to slide that back in the box right now. I feel it. It's sticky. You feel it? Uh, that sticky feeling? No, I don't feel it. You don't feel it? No. Does it feel still, still feel sticky? Yeah. It's your fingers. Well, it is now. Yeah, but you, I mean, you had that tape and stuff, right? It, nothing else is sticky. It's just this. I, I don't have any sticky on my hands or... I didn't feel it. It just hangs down? <laughs> it doesn't close. Well, it does, but it's made out of rubber, see, so you can't break it. Well, that's good, since it doesn't work real good. Yeah, right. That doesn't look real good, either. <laughs> no, I don't care. I don't like I. Th I think I'll keep the tailgate off of it. It's better without the tailgate. Yeah. Yeah, that's... I gotta figure out where to keep this though because I can use this for something else. Yeah, it, it, too big for the box? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. I won't lose it that way though. Um, you know. Well, not now. Not now. You could always put it in your um, uh, work box. There. Oh, there you go. It rolls really good too. 
For some reason, it rolls backwards a lot better than it rolls forwards. Yeah. I like that brush guard. That brush guard's cool. There's no light coming out of this thing right there. Well, that would explain why I wasn't getting any light. Yeah, because I was yeah, looking at that it. flashlight's I... messed up. That's all right. Yep, it's scale. Looks good too. Obviously, it doesn't match that steak truck very well. Oh, you get it working? Yeah. Yeah, okay. There you can better? see. Yeah, a lot better. There you can see the Illinois license plate on there. It's like a uh, 90s license plate. You got your guard right here on the hood. There it is inside. No wonder I was having trouble showing you guys stuff. And all that noise is Papa's watching a movie. What do we have here? The truck is very, very detailed. There, the bottom of it. Got your muffler coming out the side right there. The spare tire matches. I don't know if you noticed the step bars on it or not. And the wheel steer. I'm just not impressed with the tailgate. Maybe, I don't know what I'll There you go, you can see inside there now. You find something long to point with. You can see the uh, radio right there, the, the dashboard. And you can, you got a vent on the other side, I don't know. Yeah, you can see it. That, hey. Hit it spot on. Looks just like it's supposed to. If I shine the light through the plastic, it looks like the cargo lights lighting up. Oops. Probably glue this in there. Yeah, I'm just not a big fan of this tailgate. I just think it looks weird. Let me snap it in there. There. Number one, it doesn't close right. 
even when it's closed. I just, I'm not a fan of that. And then the gold doesn't match the gold on the truck either. It's rubber though, it's really bendy. That's cool. Uh, we've got a trailer hitch here, but it wouldn't pull too much. I'd just as soon put a screw through it. That'd work just as well. Now, what I noticed about it is there is there's no Ford logo at the front of the bed. Sometimes there is on these trucks. I guess they're expecting you to put that in there so it doesn't matter. Man, this thing rolls so good. That's what I was pointing with was a sucker. So. Ah! Well, I... Mirrors look good too. Got your rubber windshield wipers so they won't break off. I don't know if you noticed the off-road tires. Yeah, I'm going to glue that in there. So, if you've seen this truck on eBay and you're thinking about getting it, I'm not a Ford guy and I'm saying that I recommend it, so that should tell you something there. And it's scale. This this truck here's a Yatming, and it's scale with the uh, it's scale with it. You know the old truck's gonna be a little smaller than the new truck is, and then this truck also is raised up like a big four wheel drive truck. So uh, there you go. Here's your Ertl. I can't find what series this is in unless it's this uh, outdoor sportsman. So in the title for the video, I'll probably just put Ertl Ford truck. I don't know F Ford F one fifty. I think these mirrors mirrors are plastic. I was I was figuring there was going to be rubber because uh, something else was rubber on here, so it wouldn't break off. The windshield wipers. Seem like there's something else. Maybe I'm thinking of some other truck. Must be. It's got the step bars though, I said. Alright. I think I've repeated myself enough. I just wanted to show you guys the truck. Tell me what you think of it. I'm I don't know anything about this. I don't know if this truck is worth anything or According to the lady I bought it from, she said they go for about $80 on eBay, but whether that's true or if she was just trying to sell it, you know, I don't know. If you're wanting to see that vent on the other side, I guess it's not colored. I thought it was colored. It was just the way the light was hitting it. Well, there you go. There's your... 4x4 four four Ford F-150. Thank you for watching.